The verse of the day is brought to you by versevisionaries.com. Welcome to our Bible study session, where we delve into the timeless truths found in God's Word. 1 John 2 verse 15 has a profound message about our relationship with the world. This passage offers invaluable guidance on how we, as Christians, should navigate our interactions with the world around us. Don't love the world, neither the things that are in the world, if anyone loves the world, the Father's love isn't in him. This verse presents a clear directive from the Apostle John, urging believers to refrain from loving the world and its attractions. But what does it mean to love the world, and why is it incompatible with God's love? Keyword Exploration To gain deeper insights, let's break down the keywords in this verse. Don't love the world highlights the importance of prioritizing our affections. World here refers to the secular, sinful system opposed to God's values. Things that are in the world encompasses worldly desires and pursuits that distract us from God. Lastly, the Father's love isn't in Him underscores the exclusive nature of God's love, which cannot coexist with a love for the world. Contextual Understanding To grasp the significance of John's exhortation, we must consider the broader context of his letter. Throughout 1 John, he emphasizes the contrast between light and darkness, righteousness and sin, love for God, and love for the world. The world, in John's theology, represents everything contrary to God's character and will. Therefore, loving the world implies a spiritual disloyalty to God and His kingdom. Practical Application How can we apply this teaching to our lives? First, we must recognize the subtle allure of worldly pleasures and pursuits. Whether it's material wealth, social status, or hedonistic indulgence, these things can easily captivate our hearts and lead us astray. However, as Christians, our ultimate allegiance belongs to God alone. Second, loving God above the world requires intentional choices and daily surrender. We must cultivate a mindset focused on eternal values rather than temporal pleasures. This involves regular prayer, studying God's word, and seeking his guidance in all aspects of our lives. Third, our love for God should manifest in tangible acts of obedience and service. As we align our lives with His will, we demonstrate our devotion and allegiance to Him. This may involve sacrificial giving, compassionate outreach to others, and living with integrity and moral purity. 1 John 2 verse 15 serves as a poignant reminder of the spiritual battle we face as followers of Christ. It calls us to examine our priorities, renounce worldly attachments, and wholeheartedly pursue God's kingdom. As we heed John's exhortation, may we experience the fullness of God's love and find true fulfillment in Him. Amen. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below.